Welcome back with the second episode of our adventure in trying to find the rights to Heartbreak High in our plan to remake Heartbreak High. And I can tell you now, this is definitely not going to be the last episode of this series because it's definitely turning into an adventure. It's been two days since I uploaded the video on LinkedIn where I introduced the idea of newbie trying to find the rights to Heartbreak High and remake the show. And since then, a lot happened. First of all, I got a lot of positive response on the video, both in the comments as well in app messages, direct messages on LinkedIn. It was even picked up as news. RTL News shared it, RTL Z, ADTNL. And I think because of a lot of journalists are actually in the same age group and all had the same feeling of, oh wow, that's the feeling I remember back then. I think the same reason why we felt this was a good idea. Yes, I was in the car actually and I listened to Bayonair and I thought, hey, they're talking about Heartbreak High also. Then I realized they were actually talking about this plan. Producent Jeroen Koopman, hij zegt tegen RTL Z dat hij de rechten wil kopen van deze serie voor een remake. En dan kan je zijn volgende vlog zien hoe dat afloopt. So, I really believe in energy in an idea or lack of energy in an idea and, and if you share an idea then something happens if it's a good idea and nothing happens people don't follow or they don't engage but as i said this is not the end of this adventure it's the beginning because something unexpected happened i mentioned we had some trouble in finding who the rights belong to now because of the original founder of the production company ben uh, he died in 2007 unfortunately but through a friend from Australia, I got the email address of his lifetime partner, Brian. And uh, Brian also used to work with Ben at Canon Television. But I still had to send him an email. So the day after I uploaded the video, I thought, okay, this is a good moment to, to actually now approach him. So I sent him an email and the question was, does he own the rights or does he know who the rights belong to? Or does he reply? replied very quickly actually and good news he has the rights all rights belong to him but twist and turn he said spookily i received another request for a remake to heartbreak high yesterday so never had a, a remake request before and now the day i upload the video with the idea he got another request from another party with exactly the same idea okay I mentioned it in the video, if people had the idea of also trying to do this, if somebody else is gonna do it, then that's my bad luck for informing you of this idea in the vlog. But I didn't really expect that that to happen, but it did happen. So, luckily, I could reply him with this video, the, the previous video, so at least he felt that there might have been some inspiration on the other party side, or it might be a coincidence, it might be a coincidence. So, but now I am in conversation with Brian, and we actually made some next steps, and I will share later. I'm gonna be a, a little more cautious in the transparency here. But um, there is definitely gonna be a next episode. There is another party involved. I don't know who it is. If you are watching this, show yourself in the comments. And I said it, it will be my bad luck. So no hard feelings, but um, it does already feel like a little soap. So next episode, more updates. See you then, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.